panic yeah. sale. Actually, do you know, so far this evening, we've had people talking about confidence not, confidence mm -hmm. in the early stages, panic setting in. Right, whenever I hear that, actually, I'm going to read your mind, Stephen. All right, okay, let's do a little trick. I'm going to read your mind. Yeah. My mind to your mind, your mind to my mind. I'm trying to dig deep into your mind to work out how much actual practice you are doing. All right, you don't have to say anything. You're kicking yourself at the moment because you're thinking, I have not been practicing on a daily basis doing the uncomfortable stuff that's going to put me in a position where I'm going to squirm a little bit because this is the stuff that makes me go panic. Am I right? Um, in a way, yes. In, in a way, um, I have been studying quite a lot, but I think the thing for me is the really confusion we talk about as well, the CVF. Um, so I obviously get that into the answers as well. Um, oh, yeah. no, time out. <laughs> no, no, no. Get yeah. the CVF. All right. So um, let me do, I'll come to that in a moment. All right, I've got to do time out there because it's so important. We've got to just move away from that. So what I mean is, yeah, well, you're kind of right, right. So what you mean is, so how many times a day are you practicing your presentation, your 10-minute presentation? How many times a day are you doing that? Uh, at night, so I've, I've got a job, I still work during the day. So, um, yeah, basically at night, going over the presentation, going over... No, no I didn't presentation. say going over it. I said practicing it, actually delivering it to someone no oh, right um, okay um yeah i'm needing to definitely up that then yeah i would definitely say so right okay right here's a big difference for all of you there's a big difference between i'm studying i'm preparing for i'm learning the cvf i've got my head in the books i even speak to myself in the mirror it's not what we're looking for i tell you what whenever people say i've got lack of confidence nerves anxiety panic what that's telling me is you're not practicing on a daily basis, practicing the things that are uncomfortable, that are difficult. You're not taking that uncomfortable action. That's what it means. Seriously, folks, I mean, the best way of going over confidence, fear, anxiety, panic stuff is just do stuff. I know it might sound really simplistic, but just do stuff. Do stuff and do lots of it. And I guarantee in two weeks' time, I guarantee in two weeks' time, if you do lots of practicing, I guarantee in two weeks' time, you won't be doing something called panic. You won't be doing something called confidence, lack of confidence. You won't be doing something called lack of anxiety. Look, there's just three things that you've got to do. Three things to success. And it's the same for anything in life. Would you all like to know the secret to success in anything in life? Yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you want to know the secret. All right? You're going to be bowled over by this secret. It's like, no, you're not, actually. You're going to be like, yeah, shit, that's so simple. All right. The first of all, first thing you've got to do is you've got to do the reps. So, like, for BTP Scotland, BTP England or Wales, you've got to do a presentation. It's made up of seven or eight questions. So think of it not as a presentation, but I am going to answer seven interview questions, one after the other, without interruption. All right, so it's not a presentation. You're delivering the answers to seven questions. We can move the order around to make it fit more logically because the order they give you is not very logical. So we're going to answer in 10 minutes, seven or eight questions. The way to get over the confidence, anxiety, nerves, panic thing is just to practice. Do the reps. So at this point, two weeks before, what I'd be expecting from our clients, the people who are in our academy, is that they would be practicing at least once a day to someone else. Standing up or doing it, if you're doing it online, then doing it online, actually getting someone on a Zoom call and delivering the presentation to them in 10 minutes and then debriefing it and extracting the learning and thinking about what behaviours you need to improve on. All right, so that's the second thing. The, the behaviours that you're finding difficult to manage, difficult to master, those are the ones you want to practice. So you need to do the reps. That's the first thing. Second thing, focus on the skills or behaviours that you're struggling with. Don't focus on the things that you're good at, because what's the point in that? You already know that you're good at certain things. So do the reps. Do the things that are uncomfortable. 
and do lots of it. Do it every day over two weeks. Do it every day over a month. So, Stephen, let me ask you this question. If you practiced, if, if we got you a really good presentation, worked with you to have a presentation that was just like going to super nail it, right? So your 10-minute presentation is going to super nail it. If you practice that five times a day over the next two weeks, would you be more awesome at it or less awesome at it? Um, I suppose the more practice, um, the more your kind of brain's going to be in tuition bit as well. So, yeah, you're yeah. going to be better, definitely. You're definitely. I promise yeah. you, I'll put money on it. I would, Seriously, I'll put money on it. Do the reps for the things that are uncomfortable, the behaviours or things that are uncomfortable, and do lots of it. Do it every day without fail. I guarantee all of you that you will be 10 times better. Your 10x your performance. Guarantee it. I mean, you can't not, can you? You can't not. So, I know everyone's sat there thinking, wow, that's so simple. Yeah, it's so simple, but no one really does it, do they? I mean, is anyone actually doing that now? Honestly, can you look me in the eye and say, yeah, I'm doing that now? All right. It's okay. I know, because life gets in the way, doesn't it? Life gets in the way. We've got busy lives. We've got like the washing machines broken down. The, the kids are off school. I've got that one at the moment. The kids are off school. So I've, you know, I'm spending all my time with my little boy. We've spent like six hours today at York Railway Station train spotting. I love it. It's great. But it means I've not been doing other things. So I know that this week I'm pretty much writing a lot of it off. There's a whole ton of things I need to do in terms of preparing new material, uh, uncomfortable things that I'm not looking forward to doing, but I know I've got to do them to master those things. So, look, I promise you, folks, three things. Do the reps, the things that are uncomfortable, and do lots of it every day. Do it every day. You will be better. I promise you. I know it's dead simple, but you just got to do it. All right. So there's my first bit of advice, Stephen.